Broadcasting to you from Alpine, Texas, home of the University of the Big Bend. This is your Saul Ross State University Skyline News Report. Hi, I'm What? And I'm Grace, and this is the Saul Ross Skyline Video News Report for the week of April 12, 2012. Earlier this week, Senator John Cornyn met with Big Bend regional leaders at Saul Ross. He heard concerns during the meeting ranging from border issues to energy to greater judicial representation. Cornyn said he was not here to talk, but to listen. He briefly discussed taxes and importance of the United States, relationship with Mexico, and addressed the energy issue in Pecos, stating that it was being monitored very closely. Cornyn also paid a visit to the McDonald's Observatory and Big Bend National Park. The Baptist Student Ministry has established a new scholarship fund that will award $1,000 per semester to a qualifying Sol Ross student. To apply, you must be a sophomore enrolled full-time with a minimum of a 2.0 GPA and be a member of the Baptist Student Ministry. Preference may be given to students who demonstrate financial need or come from a single-parent household. Sol Ross President Dr. Ricardo Maestas said, quote, this generous GRIF provides another scholarship opportunity for deserving students. We are extremely grateful to the Baptist Student Ministry, end quote. For more information, contact Leo Dominguez at 432-837-8033 or email leodo at solross.edu. Now to Team Bad for Lobo Sports. Hi, my name is Brian Lima, and I'm here with Angel Torres and Dakota Dill bringing you your Lobo Sports Report. On the baseball diamond this past Thursday, the Sol Ross Lobos played the University of Mary Harden Baylor in a three-game series. In game one, Justin Jones hit an RBI single, bringing the score to one to nothing. UMHB won on a crusade, scoring eight runs in the top of the fourth inning. Dakota Dill then grounded out, scoring a run. Down eight to two in the bottom half of the fifth, Marty Baez and Emmett Chris both hit RBI singles, bringing the score to eight to four. Down nine to four in the bottom of the eighth, the Lobos scored five runs, starting a one-out rally sparked by a Dill triple. Tied 9-9 in the ninth, Emmett Chris came up with the bases loaded, delivering a walk-off RBI game-winning single. Pitcher Lucas Garza is 2-1 after allowing no runs and no hits in one inning of work. In Game 2, the crew took a commanding 9-0 lead. The Lobos took advantage of a bases loaded situation and played it two runs in the third and four runs in the fourth. Down 10-6, Chris smacked a three-run home run, cutting the margin to one run. However, UMHB took a Game 2. 10 to 9. AC Kimbrough threw, threw two and one third innings, allowing four runs in eight hits. In game three, the Crusaders jumped to a 3 0 lead. Pedro Sainz struck an RBI single, bringing the score to 3 to 1. Down 4 to 1, Justin Jones scored Mikey Apodaca on an RBI single. However, the rally wasn't enough as UMHB won 4 to 2. Anthony Trevino gave up three runs on four hits in five innings. The Lobos are now 7 to 26 overall and 3-12 and in conference play. They will travel to Brownwood to face off against Howard Payne begin, beginning April 14th. Over to softball now, where the Ladies Lobos played a four-game series in Austin against Concordia. In game one, the Tornadoes whirled their way to a 7-0 lead. Concordia added three more runs, taking the game 10-0. Game two was a similar note, as the Tornadoes stormed their way to a 9-1 victory. Julia Kalmus scored only scored the only Lobo run on a ground out in the first inning. The Thunder rolled as the Tornadoes took, a game, as the tornadoes took game three, six to zero, and game four was just the same. Amanda Garza scored on an error by the shortstop, scoring the only run of the game for the Lady Lobos. The Tornadoes won the game nine to one. The Lady Lobos are now four and 28 overall and one and 15 in conference play. The Lady Lobos will close out their season against Howard Payne University at home beginning tomorrow, April 13th. The Lobo tennis teams will be competing on April 12th in Alpine against UTPB and April 14th against Austin College. The tennis team is 0-7 overall and 0-5 in conference play. Meanwhile, the track and field team will be competing April 14th at the Trinity University Alumni Meet in San Antonio before heading to the ASC Championships which start on April 27th in Clinton, Mississippi. And that's it for your Lobo Sports Report for Angel and Dakota. I'm Brian Lima. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Team Bad. In other news, the Texas Department of Parks and Wildlife, along with the Borderlands Research Institute at Sol Ross, will be hosting a Desert Bighorn Sheep Landowner Awareness Workshop. 
The workshop is scheduled for next Thursday, April 19th from 1 to 5.30 p.m. in the Gallego Center, room 129. The workshop presents a rare opportunity to hear from involved wildlife department and research institute staff about practical management applications derived from the latest research findings about the bighorn sheep in the Trans-Pecos area. Presentation topics include the history of desert bighorn sheep, ongoing re recovery plans, habitat requirements, threats of exotic and management strategies. Following the, following the event will be a mixer at the Saddle Club in Alpine starting at 6 p.m. For more information, contact 432-837-8488. Also taking place next Thursday, Dr. Chris Jorgensen, Associate Professor of Mathematics, will present the annual Arts and Science Lecture. There is no admission charge and the public is invited. Jorgensen's pres presentation is entitled Mathematics, the Crown of Creation, Folding to the Sun to Buying a House. It will be held at 3.30 p.m. in the Warnock Science Building Room 201. One of the purposes of the convocation is to recognize the research and performance activities throughout the School of Arts and Science. Now let's go to Brooke for this week's weather report. Hi, this is Brooke Bingston with this week's seven day forecast. On Thursday, a high of 84 and a low of 54. On Friday, a high of 84, low of 55. On Saturday, a high of 85, low of 53. Sunday fun day, windy high of 81, low of 48. On Monday, cooler high of 75, low of 50. And Tuesday, high of 76, low of 47. And on Wednesday, high of 80 degrees. Thank you. This was this week's seven day forecast. Thanks, Brooke. Now for this week's announcements. The Sigma Tau Delta induction ceremony will be held tomorrow at Coconut Lodge at 6 p.m. For more information, call Dr. Ira Blanton at 432-837. 8262. On Sunday, Chris and Heather Dobbins will be performing a faculty music recital in the Studio Theater, theater beginning at 3 p.m. Chris is the director of music, university bands, and a lecturer in music, while his wife Heather is a visiting lecturer. The recital is free and open to the public. For more information, contact Chris Dobbins at 432-837-8018. And finally, the annual honors convocation will be held this Monday beginning at 7.30 p.m. in Marshall Auditorium. The annual awards presentation honors outstanding students in various departments across campus. The man and woman of the year will also be announced during this event. That's going to be it for today. My name is Whit. And I'm Grace, and that has been your Solrath Skyline Video News Report.